Hi YouTubers and thank you for tuning in to today's Toy View, which is actually not a flip out Toy View, but this time we're going to be taking a look at some Pokemon trading cards again, and the next Pokemon trading card games we're going to be taking a look at are some of the more previous Pokemon trading cards that I've actually had a look at before my YouTube channel has started. So let me just show you. And uh, of course, yes, when I did the trading cards uh, before, they were the major inspiration for, like, you know, um, the flip flap toy trading cards and um, remember those they were like a rip of a Pokemon and uh, this one's actually got more Pokemon trading cards inside I've actually got more old Pokemon trading cards and there's actually a bit of a difference going on there and we're also going to be talking about uh, some of the things I used to remember looking at the trading cards and also some differences between uh, various trading cards from Pokemon and it's actually very worth it to know um, that um, I'll be able to basically differentiate which Pokemon cards are from the past versus today. And it's fairly amazing that, as I used to be a Pokemon fan, I also have, if I grab something along the way, I think it's very worthy to note that I've also got a little pamphlet which looks like that. Okay, so hey, I might take a look at that one later on. But we're going to be taking a look at the cards there. Now, I know I have pretty much done a lot of Pokemon cards, of course, yes, oh sorry, my face has gone a bit itchy. Of course, yes, I've got a lot of old Pokemon cards, so let me just <coughs> separate the old Pokemon cards versus the new ones. <coughs> of course, yes, uh, it's actually fairly nice to know that um, I used to remember collecting Pokemon cards from various magazines and whatnot, though, eh? They were my absolute childhood memories, and uh, I've only got a few uh, from, like, um, 2020. I've actually got a lot more in 2022. Uh, versus why I don't know about you, maybe from like 2018. I don't know if I, I don't think I've got a 2019 Pokemon card. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Um, maybe if anyone can tell me about it. <coughs> you know, it's actually fairly nice to like Pokemon cards because, you know, um, there's one Pokemon card here that I would have got maybe from the ones I had from McDonald's. I think it was like a McDonald's Happy Meal Pokemon themed toy. It was like a Latios dragon sort of wheeled toy, it was like a push along toy, and it also came with like a trading card of Pokemon cards, and what I've done so far was I've actually separated the ones from 2018 versus the ones I did from 2022, which is of course this year. So of course, yes, yeah, so let me take a look at the 2018 cards that I've got so far. We have got a Piplup, we have got a Dupider, hopefully I've got the names right though, Hopefully, I was people are going to crucify and saying, "Yeah, but I'm yours and the name's Grantly." Um, got a Mareep. There is a Morlau. There is, of course, Scroopy, who I presume who evolves into. Is it Trapion? I can't really remember the names of Pokemon very easily now. Uh, Houndour, or was it Houndour? Uh, was it? Oh, it's actually more like Houndour. So I pronounced it very wrong, though. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Logan Volpix, Horsey, probably the one I got out from a Happy Meal, um, how would you say it, toy I guess, uh, Chimcha, and Magma. Oh boy, I don't know about you, but I feel like I want to do Pokemon impressions, but maybe not this time, hey? And since I've actually got Mareep uh, already at the moment now, which is actually fairly nice, I can actually... Uh, show you the 2022 cards. I've got a Flaffy. I've got a Chinchow. Of course, I've already sh shown you this before. But where Lapras? I mean, why am I showing it again? Well, we've got two duplicates of those. Okay, so enough of the duplicates. <coughs> but what's actually fairly nice is, is that if you got a Pokemon in battle, in fact, I've got a Flaffy here. And if I have Mareep here, here's something very awesome though. This is basically the first stage. But what you can do on top is you can actually put it straight over the top. Yeah, though, it's actually hey, fairly clever to do so. And, uh, but, hey, you know what? Um, it's actually fairly nice and clever hey, to... Look at that. I'm not sure about you, but you can actually put this card on top of the other one, which actually represents the evolved form of Mareep, which is Flaffy. There you go, Mareep and Flaffy. There you go, that's a very nice one here. Eh? You can actually do this to <coughs> basically... Um, <laughs> I would just say it. Um, I don't know about you, but you can actually um, 
put one card on top of another. That's a very classic example of getting Pokemon cards, and that's fairly nice to know. I know they do represent the Pokemon that they actually literally um, evolve, which is fairly nice to know. I'm just looking very carefully of what Pokemon I've got so far, and I don't think I've got a lot actually, eh? but I think. Yeah, I think that's quite a lot of Pokemon cards, but uh, I don't think I've got a lot of those cards there which contain like the evolved form of Maweep or the evolved form of any other Pokemon. But nevertheless, it is still quite nice. And let's take a look at this pamphlet here as a bit of a reminder again, because obviously it is very important to know. You get hit points, weight, Pokedex number, height, card number, and also the direction of play is reversed to the previous player. We've already seen that on the spinning top. That was quite a bit of a cheapy. There's some instructions on how to play the game. I think we've seen that one before in a previous video and blah blah. Noticing, I don't know about you, but there's actually quite a lot of various Pokemon uh, cards that everyone would love to collect. And you've also got this beautiful looking um, pamphlet, which looks like that, tells you which cards you've got. This is actually coming out from a previous series. Um, of course, yes, I had that in a previous Pokemon magazine uh, way before uh, my YouTube channel was started back in just before Christmas of 2018. Here's the other side of it as well. There you go. There's some very good um, pieces of information of what you can do. Oh, there's a very cool looking... Oh, wow. It's a trading card game. Um, Pokemon game. Oh, you can play it online. Oh, wow. And there's also a very interesting code there. That's interesting. I didn't realise that this code is redeemable. Well, honestly, I think this code probably no longer exists because, well, codes are very random at times, but it is redeemable via the TCG or trading card game online for the computer of such. And you've also got some more advertisements. You get Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which are available. They're basically kind of like the sequels to Sun and Moon. I mean, this is basically Generation 7 that we're talking about, looking at all kinds of Pokemon stuff, and there you go, there's something really awesome to look at. Damn it, I don't know about you, but... I, Croggies, I don't know about you, but I've got a funny feeling I've got only just a few Pokemon cards. Well, not that many Pokemon cards, but I haven't got a lot of uh, Lost Thunder Pokemon cards. In fact, the artwork, if I show you Zero Aura, who hopefully I've got the name of this Pokemon right, I think I've got a post up on the wall, which looks like... That there, that's the artwork that I'm actually showing it to you. And on the other side, there's a picture of Lugia right over there, which is fairly nice. It's a card list. And there you go, there's the artwork of Ash from Pokemon, and there's little companion Pikachu. And of course, yes, um, that was actually the time when the Pokemon anime started to be redesigned in a very sort of strange way. And there you go, discover the Ultra Beast, follow the adventure, and a lot of them with new Pokemon episodes. Copyright 2018 Pokemon. I mean... How could you how could you never go wrong with this? I mean frickin' hell. I mean I must have got away from Pokemon in twenty twenty one. Cyber on guys, hey. Boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen if you're watching this video, but it's actually quite a nice little pamphlet and there's also if I look at the other side of the pamphlet there, if I just turn it around, obviously there's like a little collection sheet of the Pokemon cards of what Pokemon cards have you got and what Pokemon cards have you not got? I don't know about you, but I might have to track very slowly to this side here. And of course, is that is pretty much a very big list of all the various Pokemon that you can get, uh, obviously from the series. And what is amazing is is that there's actually different types of cards. You can get like EX cards and GX cards and V cards, depending on which booster pack you get from. But um, hey, it is just amazing that hey. Not every Pokemon card is pretty much the same, and I would have never thought that, hey, there's actually quite a lot of Pokemon cards. In fact, overall, I'm just so glad I've got the legitimate Pokemon cards, which is just fairly incredible to know, because honestly, uh, as obvious as it sounds, uh, I would hate to get a bootleg, and it's very nice to know that we've got something fairly nice. The way I can tell that the license and legitimate is definitely via the licensing info, but there's actually a bit of differences going on within the licensing info in the 2022 cards, versus the 2018 cards that I've actually had. So let me try and grab a 2018 Pokemon card and let me just show you. There you go, there's two of them there. Basically if you look at those two Pokemon cards, they're actually a bit different. The licensing info, if I show it to you here, it's actually on the left bottom corner. 
But on the 2022 version, look at the licensing info. The licensing info is literally on the bottom, but this time on the middle, and it's uh, also a lot more, actually a lot more longer to be honest, eh? And um, the best thing about uh, legitimate Pokemon cards is that they say TM as in trademark for copyright reasons. Obviously, if you're going to be buying knockoff Pokemon trading cards, um, that's not what you'd probably be thinking of because honestly, that there is, of course, and that one there are the real deal. And of course, yes, I do know that there are some cards which have hologram artworks like this, and I do know that because Pokemon trading cards have been qu have been quite a trendy item for a fairly long time, my hands are freaking dry. Because boy, boy, we've had a very bad hot, <coughs> hot summer so far. Um, in fact, it's too dry. But nevertheless, rain is coming back next week, which will be fairly nice to know. And um, yes, uh, we've got a lot of Pokemon stuff that I might show you. Um, the Pokemon train doesn't stop here. Um, <laughs> sorry for the pun. Um, what we do know about the legitimate Pokemon cards is that they've got really nice holographic forms. And I've actually realised that. Oh, pardon me. Um, when you tear open, oh, pardon me. When you tear open a Pokemon card, a real Pokemon card, there's actually another layer. Um, but nevertheless, the quality of Pokemon cards, they actually are fairly nice. They've actually got another. They've actually got like very thin layers of card inserted into another, and that actually is quite a, <coughs> a very interesting sort of fact. If I grab, um, what's another card I might grab? Though? If I grab Piplup. Although it's quite bland, but because there's no holograms and stuff like that. Oh, does it have holograms? No. <laughs> Honestly, um, although it doesn't have holograms, it's quite a nice looking card. You can feel nice, and the, the, the card itself it feels fairly nice in your hand. And, of course, yes, if you would have tried to break a knockoff Pokemon card, they actually delaminate really easily. Uh, but the real Pokemon cards don't do that. Uh, um, but also, the knockoff cards, if you're going to be buying the knockoff Pokemon cards, they just don't have a very nice feel to them. They just don't have the real niche or the nice looking touch of what you find in the real cars. And I'm just looking for the... Oh, there's the booster packaging of what they came up in. Here's a look at the packaging that they came up with. It's called the Match Battle. It comes with four additional game cards. Usually a Pokemon trading card game uh, card pack would normally come in at like, you know, ten cards, of course. And there you go, this is actually fairly nice. It also has got the catchphrase, gotta catch them all. There you go. Well, bit of a misleading sort of name after Pokemon Sword and Shield. Ah, okay. So we've also got more and more of those. We've got some more licensing info here. Just right over there. Of course, there's, there's no jarring reads. All the readings are fairly nice. And I can read this one here. It says, become a Pokemon trainer and challenge your friends and, and family in the, in the Pokemon trading card game. Match battle. Uh, find Pokemon friends like Pikachu, Rallet, Growlithe, and more, and send them into a match of coin flipping, spinning, and fun with numbers. The last trainer of a Pokemon in play gets to claim victory. Okay, when you're ready to try more fun games with Pokemon TCG, so a card, sorry I've just broken my character here, you can ask for your parents' permission to visit tcg.pokemon.com forward slash how to play to find out more. Should have actually read the dash essay. <laughs> and there you go, the packaging is recyclable, and also most importantly, because this product actually is derived from a McDonald's product, if I show it to you closely, it says, made from McDonald's 2022, so that's actually quite a fairly nice looking booster pack. But, uh, you know what, um, I just can't go wrong with uh, Pokemon booster packs, normally they often come in packs like this, um, but they feel nice, they feel good in the hands, um, that's what Pokemon cards uh, and their packaging is often tend to feel like. And hey, that's what we all love to see, eh? But hey, obviously, um, looking at Pokemon uh, trading cards, it, it's a never-ending collection now. Of course, it's, it's just amazing. And there's also something fairly nice, though. It also has some very different illustrations. If I show you the Pokemon cards again, and I don't know why I'm repeating this process over again, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to show you the illustrators of what we've got so far, but I'm not going to say their names because it would probably, um, well, annoy them, obviously, eh? Um, but yes, it's very worthy to note that a lot of Pokemon cards are actually designed by various illustrators. Most of them are Japanese. Uh, in a sense, Pokemon being a Japanese franchise, an anime-style um, franchise. Of course, yes, there's actually quite a lot of different 
illustrations, but there's also one thing about those cards is that while they have different illustrations, actually I should have shown you this here. <laughs> of course, I do know they have different illustrations. Um, very worthy to note that while Pokemon cards have different illustrations, uh, they are pretty much part of the same range or in the same type of toy range, of course. Like, and I mean. Just because uh, a Pokemon trading card, like the one that Ken Sugimori has, which is the only uh, illustrator I can really think of, doesn't exactly mean, you know, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't have to be the same illustrator doing those cards, but hey, it's actually fairly nice to know. And I know that Pokemon cards can obviously sell for like, you know, millions if not billions of, of dollars or pounds, or de depending on where you live. And I can tell you what I say, the Pokemon cards are pretty much sold at various prices, and especially eBay, um, very dangerous. There's a lot of scammers around, so be sure to be very careful when you're shopping online. Especially if you're going to be finding the Illustrator Pikachu card from Japan, or the Charizard. You know, the one with Fire Spin on it, though. That's one that is very worthy to collect. Anyways, I think that's about it in this Pokemon video. Sorry I've been a little bit late today because I actually had an early breakfast uh, session so far as I was eating food and stuff. But anyways, I will try and take a look at more Pokemon stuff like that Pikachu uh, keychain that looks like an airline pilot. I might talk about that in another video. But anyways, please stay cool this summer as it is quite a very hot summer at the moment though. Eh? But anyways, please give this video a like, subscribe for more of videos in the future. And until next time, thank you so much for watching in this vlogger's video and bye for now. And I'll try and probably make them as daily as per usual while beating the heat. Bye.